In this video, I'm going to address my final submission overview of the multimedia project. And here you see an image of dough that says I, and then a heart, and then a little bird. So it's I love Twitter. So the focal point of this is to summarize what I did for my MMP project on Twitter. The purpose of my MMP is to provide a self-instructional model on how to use Twitter, and the title of it is called Tip Off to Twitter. Let's take a look at the website. Here there's an navigational bar called Home, then MMP, Twitter, Discussion Forum, Water Cooler, Contact, and then like I said before, these last two only relate to the course. When clicking on Home, also known as the landing page, it just talks to you about Tip Off to Twitter. It welcomes you. Then it gives you a navigation, even though it looks like it's nine rules, it's not. This is the navigation of the website explained. And then you click on MMP. And then you see the multimedia project. And it's basically um, an explanation of what's the overview of the project here, what's the actual goal. And then when you scroll down further, you have the opportunity to read the entire proposal and then it tells you what to do. So it clicks, it says to click on Twitter at the top navigational bar. Next, when you go on Twitter, here it tells you and tells the learner to scroll down for more. It talks about what Twitter is, and then it tells you what the next direction is, hover over Twitter. When I hover over Twitter, I'm actually able to see the seven lessons that are built here. So let's take a look at mini lesson one. Here the lesson provides you exactly a step-by-step -step guide on what you need to do, including the objectives. You can click directly onto the web links. Um, the web links were not customized intentionally in case you need to copy and paste them. And then it just basically tells you the directions to follow it step-by-step -step and post accordingly. Same thing applies when you go down to mini lesson two. Here you have the startup, the objectives, etc. Now please note here they're actually color-coded blue means to read or to watch, orange means that you're going to post in the discussion form, and green means you're going to do something in Twitter. In addition, if there are slide presentations, so up here you have the opportunity to watch the slide presentation or watch a screencast. So I provided the slideshow in case you wanted to have a slower view of what it's all about. And these concepts go all the way from mini lesson one to mini lesson seven. So for each one of them, there's activities for the learner to do. They need to post either in the discussion board here on the website or to post um, directly through Twitter. Please note the learners of this module will actually be using two separate systems. The pre-service teachers will be using Blackboard, in which there's a username and password, and it's highly secure. And then my colleagues at Southern Regional will be using a learning management system known as Schoology, also known as Schoology, where they'll be having a safe place to collaborate and communicate. The next thing that I developed is what's known as the discussion forum. And here the learner, or in this case learners, are able to provide um, rich, engaging dialogue here and are answering particular questions within the module. Now the order is a little bit different. It's not the first one is at top, but rather on the bottom, similar to a blog. So here the first lesson is mini lesson one, discussion post one, and then it talks about what questions they need to answer. As you scroll up, Here's mini lesson two, discussion post one, and it follows mini lesson two, discussion post two. Now please note within the mini lessons, sometimes there's one post and sometimes there's more than one. Therefore, it was essential to tell the learner by the numbers here. And then it keeps going on for each component of all the seven mini lessons. Next, what I would like to address is what's known as the water cooler. Let's take a look. This concept was used back in the day during businesses where people would go to the water cooler, grab a triangle shaped cup right here, and then talk about either the issues of the company or personal stuff or possibly even gossip. So what I did is I took that same concept and embedded that here where it's going to discuss various topics that are of interest to the participants, any issues that they might have, any type of questions they may pose to other people so you can have a rich engaging dialogue. So this was built in within the module to actually have a collaborative space where you can share ideas, you can ask questions outside and above, above what the module is asking you to do. So here's just a cool way to provide um, support to your fellow colleagues as well as to this module itself on Twitter. 
And last but not least, what I did was create the word contact to reach me in case there's any problems or concerns. So here, within the top part of the navigation bar, I allow you to contact me if the learner's having any problems. Now you can communicate with me in two ways. One, you can communicate me with me directly through contacting my phone number or my email account or direct message on Twitter. Another thing you can do is you can actually directly do it within the website, which is my preference First, clicking outside the website, you put your name, your email address, and any comments or concerns. And of course, I state that there's 24 hours to return, and I also let the viewer, once they submit, um, kind of receive a confirmation. So the basis of my MMP proposal is to make sure the person who would, who's interested in learning about Twitter is able to do so through these seven little mini lessons. The top navigation bar is Home, MMP, Twitter, Discussion Forum, Water Cooler, and Contact. And now let me show you the mini lessons in its entirety. Okay, so here are just the mini lessons in its entirety. This little direction sheet on what you need to do, how to log on to the website, and then of course my contact information. Now the reason why I included that is just in case the learner was not unable to find the contact in the navigation part. And then it just walks through each mini lesson, provides a color-coded system of what you need to do and where you need to post. And then it also allows you to communicate either via Twitter or through the discussion forum what's going on. Okay, hope this helps with understanding how Twitter works, using Twitter, and providing a really rich, engaging professional development experience. I wish all of you the very best in your future endeavors, and thanks for joining me on my Twitter session.